The interesting thing is we actually offer the ability for restaurants to service customers through their own digital channels. Um, so we launched a, a white label solution for restaurants earlier this year. So you can order through the restaurant's website. In fact, we'll even build the app or the website for the restaurants. We'll handle the payments, we'll handle the customer service and the logistics. So we are actually doing that for restaurants today. And certainly, you know, we always welcome competition. If there are more innovation in the sector, um, that's always a good thing for riders, restaurants and consumers. Good morning to you, sir. Labour Party, which, of course, is in opposition here in the UK, as you're fully aware, are looking at the gig economy workers, and they've got a new detailed uh, think tank report about this as well. Do you think you pay your workers enough? Uh, yes, we do. Um, and, in fact, you know, the things that riders care about are, are really three things. One is, um, obviously, good pay. Uh, the second area is flexibility. Riders want the maximum ability to work flexibly, working for any platform, anytime they want, anywhere they are. And then finally, increasingly, riders do care about benefits. And we've been working with various um, governments uh, around the world to offer both flexibility and benefits. Do you think that you mentioned benefits, so I'm very interested in the benefits. Do you think your workers should get holiday pay and minimum wages? My view is that benefits um, should be offered in a manner that's congruent with flexible work. I think that's the most important thing. The average delivery rider works on our platform anywhere from 10 to 14 hours a week. Um, and, and they value that flexibility very, very highly. And, and that is something that um, draws riders to the platform. So that part is incredibly important.